Arms and the Man by George Bernard Shaw is a satirical comedy that delves into the romantic and societal conventions of the late 19th century while critiquing the glorification of war and the romanticized notions surrounding it. First performed in 1894, the play challenges the prevalent ideals of heroism and explores the complexities of love, class, and societal expectations. Set during the 1885 Serbo-Bulgarian War, the play introduces us to Captain Blunchley, a pragmatic Swiss mercenary, who takes refuge in the bedroom of Reina Petkov, a young and idealistic Bulgarian woman. Reina is initially captivated by the idea of war and heroism, shaped by the romantic literature she consumes. However, her encounter with Blunchley disrupts these romanticized notions, leading to a humorous and thought-provoking exploration of love and war. Shaw employs a distinct brand of satire, using wit and humor to expose the absurdities of societal norms. The play's title itself is an ironic nod to Virgil's epic poem Aeneid, which begins with the famous line, Arms and the Man I Sing. Shaw uses this classical reference to subvert the traditional glorification of war by presenting it in a comedic light. Through the characters, Shaw dismantles the prevailing ideas of honor and bravery associated with warfare, highlighting the pragmatic and often unglamorous reality. Captain Blunchley serves as the voice of reason, challenging the characters and the audience to reconsider their perspectives on war and heroism. His practicality and focus on survival rather than glory contrast sharply with Reina's romantic ideals. Shaw uses Blunchley to question the conventional hero archetype, presenting a character who values practicality in self-preservation over the romanticized notions of honor and heroism. The play also explores the theme of social class, particularly through the character of Reina and her interactions with Sergius Serenov, Reina's betrothed and a war hero. Sergius embodies the traditional hero figure, brave, dashing, and gallant. However, Shaw exposes the superficiality of these traits, portraying Sergius as a character who conforms to societal expectations but lacks substance. Reina's evolving feelings for Blunchley reveal the inadequacies of Sergius as a romantic partner, challenging the societal norms that dictate suitable matches based on class and social standing. Love is another central theme in Arms and the Man. Shaw critiques the conventional notions of love as idealized and purely emotional. Reina's initial infatuation with Sergius is based on his romanticized image as a war hero, but her interactions with Blunchley force her to confront the practical and realistic aspects of love. The play suggests that true love should transcend societal expectations and be grounded in genuine connection and understanding. Shaw's witty dialogue and clever wordplay contribute to the comedic atmosphere of the play. The characters engage in sharp repartees that expose the contradictions and absurdities in their beliefs and behaviors. The humor serves as a powerful tool for Shaw to convey his social commentary while entertaining the audience. In conclusion, Arms and the Man by George Bernard Shaw is a satirical masterpiece that challenges the prevailing ideals of war, heroism, love, and social class. Through a cast of well-developed characters and clever dialogue, Shaw critiques societal norms, exposing the superficiality of romanticized notions and advocating for a more practical and realistic view of life. The play remains relevant today, as its themes continue to resonate in discussions about war, love, and societal expectations. Shaw's ability to blend humor with social critique makes Arms and the Man a timeless exploration of human folly and societal absurdities.